Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMore. Today we have an interesting interesting equation, x squared minus x cubed equal to 12. And on the first side this equation is easy one because we don't have more a huge power, we have only two x's equal to 12. But in another way we have x cubed right here. So as you know we will have three roots, maybe complex, maybe real number roots. So let's try to simplify it. First of all let's change in order a little bit. So let's write this minus x cube at first on the left we will have minus x cube of course the second we'll have plus x square and bring these 12 on the left we will have minus 12 equal to equal to zero and it's not hard to see that this minus is is not necessary right here so we can we need to multiply this by minus one and if we multiply this by minus one we will have x cube minus x square and plus 12 equal to zero so we just Simpl not simplify but just write it in another order so this is the same as as right here so what we're going to do next take a look there is there are more more approach how to solve this this equation so we can write it in in different ways but i want to show you a really good approach how can we solve it take a look this 12 we can write as 8 ta 8 plus 2 so this 12 can be written as 8 plus and moreover this 8 can be written as 2 cube and this 4 can be written as 2 square so this is the same 12 as right here I just write it as 2 cube plus 2 square and what we're going to do next in our case let's write this one x cube minus x square and plus this equal to 0 so I just change nothing I just write this 12 as 2 cube plus 2 square but why I write this? Take a look. If we group this element, so x cube and 2 cube, and x square with this 2 square, we will have interesting case. We will have that x cube plus 2 cube in parentheses and minus x square, but right here we'll have minus, minus 2 square equal to, equal to 0. So I just group these elements. If you open parentheses and if you simplify this, you will have the same as in the beginning. So nothing, nothing change. So we need to know a formula. Right here, as you can see, we have the sum of cubes. We need to know a formula. So a cube plus b cube. We will have our case. We will have a plus b and the second parentheses a square minus a b and plus b b square. And let's use this formula, let's apply this formula right here in this case. So let's apply this formula in this case, because right here we have sum of cubes. This is our a, this is our b. So firstly, we will have a plus b, so x plus x plus 2, x plus 2. And the second parenthesis is x square. So as you can see, we just change a and b by x and, and, and 2. And times x square minus 2x and plus b square, 2 square plus... 4. And as you can see, this, this formula is, is really good known for us because right here we have difference of squares. So we can split it into an identity, so x minus 2 and times x plus 2 equal to 0. And take a look, we have a really good, really good situation right now because this is our first expression, this is our second expression and we have a product. Moreover, we have the same x plus 2. So we can factor out this x plus 2 from the both expressions. What we'll have? We will have interesting, interesting case. Firstly, x plus two, and if we factor it, we will have all that, all the rest. Right here, we will have x square minus two x and plus four, and right here we will have minus x. And if you open this parenthesis, we will have x plus two equal to zero. And if we simplify this, this expression, we will have x plus two. And in this parenthesis we'll have our final equation x square minus 3x and plus 6 equal to 0. So after all steps we just factor it and we have really interesting interesting case because as you can see right here we have x cubed so we'll have three roots. And right here as you can see we'll have one root and right here x square we'll have two root which is really good to solve because the first case I write this right here x plus 2 this x plus 2 equal to 0 and from here x first equal to minus 2 so as you can see we find our 
our first root in real numbers. And let's solve this. This parentheses will have x squared minus 3x and plus 6 equal to equal to 0. Of course, a, b, c, a equal to 1, b equal to minus 3, and c equal to 6. And if you plug in all of these elements, we will have that x2 and x3 equal to minus b. We'll have 3 plus minus square root of minus 15 and dividing by by 2. And as you can see right here, we have minus in our square root sign. So right here, we will have complex roots. Complex roots. Right here, we'll have real number roots. Real number root. This is our first root in real number. And right here, we'll have x2 and x3 will be our root in complex number. So let's find this. Let's find this root. We'll have 3 plus minus. Let's write this minus 15 as minus 1 times 15 and divide in by 2. And moreover, if we have a product in our square root sign, we can write it in another way. So we can write it as square root of minus 1 times square root of 15 and divide in by all over by 2. And it's it that our complex number theory. We know that square root of minus 1 equal to i. So we will have the square root of minus 1 equal to i. And we use this theory right here and we will have our our final answer that our x2 and x3 will be equal to 3 half plus minus i square root of 15 dividing by 2. So this will be our will be our answer. We will have x first equal to minus 2. We will have x second equal to 3 half. I take with the plus sign. So 3 half plus i, i square root of 15 dividing by 2. This is our second root. And the third one, we will have x third but with the minus sign. So 3 half minus i square root of 15 and dividing by 2. This is our third root. So we will have first one, second one, and the third one. This one in real numbers and these two in, in complex numbers. If you still have any question, write a question in a comment. Maybe you still have any question with, with this, with this factoring, with this. But as, as for me, it's not hard to see that this is a really good approach to to solve this, to factor it, because in another way we need to create a x plus two near this, near this x and two and twelve, and we need to factor it as a result. But in our case, we this method works. So if you still have any question, write a question in a comment. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next videos.